Oh, you're right. We all move it at the same time. Oh. Something's not right there. Content is customizable. So, using your Clues Wizard, your wizard that we provide to you, you can come here and create your own contact. So, we slug that one. Grab it. Now I can put on multiple fingers. This is really cool, huh? <laughs> so, you're having fun down here? Did you get to go and uh, get a lot of stuff? Nope, I haven't. I like Saturday. Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let me do it now. Did I do it right? Yep. Awesome. I like the multi-color because every single time you touch or every finger you use, it's a different color. The difference, so they may, they have certain different requirements. But as you can imagine, for a K through eight experience, oh, finger pain, you know, health care. Health care. Oh, there we go. I'm a doctor. Patient walks into my office. I don't want to just have random patient data sitting on my computer. I want it very specific to me and my patient. So I put my card on, and my list of patients shows up here. Now today we're, we're talking about you know heart surgery. So you know my example would be uh, we'll pull up the diagram of the heart. If I move out of healthcare and I think the classroom, how many times have they had to buy pigs, frogs, dissection tools, dissection this, 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 year after year after year after year? I personally don't know that cost, but I'm sure at some point it starts to round up to the cost of some technology that will allow you to do that. We'll be taking apart the ventricle and opening up right here. Oh, we want to do a cut? Yes, please. I am, unfortunately, we have Steve Jobs' liver right here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, there we go. Manipulate. Go ahead. I will now remove the left ventricle. This will hurt a little bit, but don't worry. Feel better? You can do I, I feel better. Let's go ahead and add a stint to the heart. So we'll go a to our different panels. A stint? Yes. What the heck is a stint? A stint will prop open an artery after it has collapsed. And so right. as I go to enter my stint, we need to add some notes, doctor. Okay. I'll read, you type. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Send a bill. <laughs> Hi, big bill. Yo, yo, you know a man named Bill? <laughs> Send a bill. Inside bill. joke. Uh, only for heart surgery. About the Golgi apparatus. I need you to know about the endoplasmic reticulum. And then we're going to have a test. Or we can come over to the surface as a group. And in a group, plant cell has some very specific parts that are important that you need to know about. First off is the mitochondria. The mitochondria sits right here. What does the mitochondria do? Well, if we click on more info, we actually get the information about the mitochondria. Go ahead and spin this around. And so you can go ahead and, and read about that as we scroll through what the mitochondria is and what the mitochondria does. Or the Golgi apparatus, or any of the parts that you see here on the screen. But we're going to go down to the DNA level now. Because the process of protein synthesis involves breaking apart the DNA and then pairing it with amino acids. Our DNA structure is broke down, and in the instructions, we want to drag the mRNA to the right side of the ribosome down here at the bottom. So we take our, M our mRNA, and our transfer RNA appears to us. Of course, you'll notice that there's corresponding shapes and letters, so we just can't drag any type of tRNA down here. It's very specific. It's very specific because the proteins get built based on that pairing. So we just want to make sure that we have the right tRNA in place. Our protein strand is being built right there. Where is our other, uh, uh, oh, no, right here, there it is. Is that it? Nope, that's not the right protein strand. Oh, wait. I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and so on and so forth until our protein is actually built and displayed here at the bottom of the screen. And one more. Here we go. Now remember, this deals with just the process. So the process, right? And so now, it gives you again, the, the concept and the ideas of how applications can recognize objects, how they can be oriented, and they're not just an object, they're an object with properties. So there's a camera underneath looking exactly. up. Exactly. Cameras, and obviously the projector. And, and there's physical touch, so it knows how hard I'm touching. 
I remember it's, it's different than pressure, but yes, I mean, it, it can mimic. I, I always say it mimics pressure because it's not really seeing pressure. I see. It's, know, just, you know. it's the size of the yeah, figure. Exactly. Size oh, and orientation cool. will, will kind of give it the indication of what. And oh yes, we'll just go in a little bit and see what's going on in that window there. I see. I see Waldo. There's Donald Trump. <laughs> And even better, up here on the screen, you can really see the impact of that, right? Yeah, that's nice to be able to Sure. This is my house in New Jersey. Would you like to see? <laughs> we have a surface on site as well, in which we actually piloted making the Cell Explorer, specific for a lab class that an educator said, I need a better way of engaging my students when I talk about protein synthesis. No. Here's an application that we're to I'll tweet you this some chemistry details that I'd like to look at different pictures. Look at my finger is six of one, two, two, nine, four. That's just my biggie. X three nine five point six Y five five six one five. You're no longer human. You're just data. I am a data. <laughs> Could you beam me home <laughs> for dinner time? In in the future, the surface will do that. Wow, <laughs> that's sweet.